heated debate over a proposal to expand a Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson's staff at a significant price. KCRA3's Richard Sharp is live at City Hall to explain how much the mayor wants to spend and what those workers will be doing, Richard. Yeah, this was a pretty contentious meeting at some points. One council member saying this sets a dangerous president and wants to see those positions removed from the budget. Keep in mind, this wasn't even up for a vote, just a discussion. Absent from that discussion, the mayor, he was not here to explain why he wants to have five additional staff members. Ask taxpayers if the mayor's office should have more money to hire more people, and the answers vary. If they are doing an adequate job um, with the personnel that they have, I don't see any reason why any more money should be poured into that. Others say there are better causes for that money. I think that the city needs to allocate one of those positions full time to, to the least, the last, and the lost. To the homeless. But the mayor's office, which has a staff of seven, says they need more people because they have a lot to do. There's the rail yards project in the innovation district, raising the minimum wage, the housing initiative of building 10,000 housing units in 10 years. These positions would be helping all of uh, these initiatives, yeah. The cost of these positions, about $650,000, on top of the mayor's current budget of about a million dollars, was discussed by council. It would take a very powerful argument for me to support. That huge increase in staff, that's almost a 70% increase in the mayor's budget for staffing. And uh, no other department in the city is receiving anything like a 70% increase in any way, not even close. But the mayor's office says the extra staff will be worth the cost. For example, one position will be a federal liaison. This position would potentially help bring back some of the federal dollars and state dollars that exist back to Sacramento. Now, the mayor's office will technically have two of those full-time positions. The other three full-time positions would be from uh, borrowed, basically, from the city manager's office. They have to figure this all out over the next month and a half so the budget can take effect July 